Welcome to Bucks Fast Break, presented by West Bend, the Silver Lining, alongside Milwaukee Bucks great Marcus Johnson. I'm Dario Melendez, live at the Barclays Center. 117 to 97. That is the Bucks' win over the Nets. Their sixth straight win, 38th of the season. Just another impressive all-around performance by this Bucks team, Marcus. Yeah, it was, and it started out uh, with the defense, which it always does with this team. But then the way they shot the basketball, yeah. 17 three-pointers made. They shoot what 46 <laughs> percent from the three-point line, and then. The big thing, Dario, holding down Dinwiddie, holding down Kyrie Irvin. They were a combined, what, 9 for 27. That's 33% between the two of them. And they average almost 50 points yeah. a game. So they, they held them down admirably, shot the ball well, and that's usually a recipe for a Bucks blowout. That's all Coach Bud wanted to do, make it tough for Kyrie. The Bucks did just that. Let's take a look at the team stats from this game. You heard Marcus mention the three-point shooting. It was phenomenal for the Bucks yet again. This after setting a season high in three-point shooting against the Celtics. Let's hear from head coach Mike Boonholzer right now. I think Giannis's maturity um, in dealing with you know any kind of adversity, including you know uh, when sometimes you know he gets some early foul trouble or foul trouble in general. Um, I think his approach with the officials, with his teammates, with everybody, the focus to go to the next play or stay with his team and stay engaged and support. Um, it's it's been a real strength, and I think the whole team kind of sees it and that's you know we talk about leadership that's another way that you lead um, you know when things don't go your way um, when you keep your composure and you just kind of keep playing keep grinding um, everybody else follows his lead here at coach bud mentioned adversity well they have the bulls on monday do the bucks have Pfizer reform and it's a weird start time you have a 10-hour flight on the back end kind of a trap game if you want to call it marcus well yeah and the thing is you've got to come out with the same kind of defensive effort and focus that you showed tonight with this net backcourt because you've got Zach Levine mm -hmm. coming into town. You saw the numbers. He's putting up almost 25 points a game, but he's got the kind of potential where he could splash a 40, 50-point game on yeah. you if, if you're not focused on him defensively. Uh, some good young talent, Thomas Sadoransky doing a nice job, 6'7", running the point guard. But the way this team is playing right now, the Bucks. I mean, at both ends of the floor, they come out and just give uh, a consistent effort that they've been given with the youth of the Bulls, they should be able to walk away with the victory, hop on that plane, and then <laughs> another 10, 12 hours later, be in Gay Paris. I'm gonna <laughs> I think I'm going to stow away with you. <laughs> yeah, come on, uh, I'm going. I'm going to Paris. <laughs> uh, remember, you can watch that game right here on Fox Sports Wisconsin coverage starting at 3.30 with Bucks Live. Bucks 38-6 on the season after that win. This has been Bucks Fast Break presented by West Bend, the Silver Lining.